Hello Cougar fans and welcome back to Cougar Covers on the Alliance Central Sports Network where myself and Mr. Burks sit on each every week and discuss Alliance Central Sports. So let's start off with our game cancellations of last night on our high school baseball and softball. Yeah, so high school baseball um, was supposed to be the regular season finale down at Edinburgh. That game got canceled due to the rain. Um, unfortunately, it's a beautiful day out today. We won't be able to get a game in. Um, so the high school baseball team is off the rest of the week. Uh, they will play in regionals next week at home on Monday night. We'll talk about that next week, obviously. Uh, but so you will have a chance to watch and play one more time if you want. But pretty, um, you know, easy week this week. There's a whole lot of practices. A whole lot of practice to get better. You know, I know Coach Thomas is going to do his best to prepare us uh, the most he can to get us ready for that regional game because I know he really wants to win and he wants us to win and we yeah. want to win. So it's been, yeah, uh, it's been a while since we won a regional baseball game. Yeah, so that'd be, that'd be really cool. Yep, for sure. All right, so let's go into high school softball. Okay, high school softball. They had their game canceled last night as well, but they do still have a game um, tonight. They have senior night in Manitou. Um, there's one senior from Midwest Central, so she'll be honored today. Um, they're playing Beardstown in a, um, a charity game for ulcerative colitis. So if you know you have nothing going on this afternoon, head on down to Manitou for a 4:30 start. Um, it's been a great season for the girls. They wrap it, they can wrap it up with a win today. Uh, head into regionals with some confidence. So yeah, and even though they are playing on the road, like you just said, they've had a, they've had a great season. They've caught a whole bunch of wins. Hopefully, they can take that momentum yeah. on into regionals. And you know, but they got to get done. You said tonight. On yeah, get tonight. Night. Yeah, you got to win on senior night. Yeah, um, senior night. That that'd be great for them to get a win. Every senior wants to end their sure. in their home. On, yeah. on a win. And yeah, and all our girls will be back next year. Um, so we will have some seniors. But yeah, there's one from Midwest Central, so we need to make sure we do what we can to get her a win today. So. Yeah. So hopefully our 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 girls can you yeah know, do their part. Yeah. Do their part and do their part next year too for sure all right so let's move on into track high school track high school track uh, our girls are at DMAC on Thursday night for their sectional um, so the, the two or three girls that are going to compete there that could be their last chance uh, the boys will have to wait till the following week for their section opportunity but we're getting to the end obviously we're you know less than three weeks of school left so hopefully we have some uh, you know, girls do well Thursday and some boys do well next week. I know we got some good times and some good seeds. Um, now it'll just be up to them to do their best. So. Yeah, and I talked to a couple of the other runners on the track team, and they said we've got a good shot on both sides for different runners to, yeah. to go on into state, and I hope that, that I hope that happens for them and for our school as right. well. Yeah, the, the state track meet is a pretty big deal in high school, so getting, you know, one, two, three people there would be sweet. And talking about this time of year, middle school track, and I'm talking about Yeah, that. middle school track. So they, uh, we, they already had their sectionals, and we do have some kids going to state this weekend at East Peoria Eastside Center. Uh, on the girls' side, Lainey Anderson won the 400 um, set at the seventh grade level, so she will run on Friday. Carter Flaherty got first place in seventh grade discus, so he will throw on Friday. And then we do have a relay team that made it. So the 4x200 seventh grade team of Carter Flaherty, Kyraz Thompson, Jackson Schaefer, and Jace Tolan, they will actually run on Saturday. So uh, if you're not doing anything this weekend, going up to Eastside Center, it's I love going to watch the middle school track. There's always some awesome performances. It's going to be a beautiful weekend, it looks like. I mean, you'll see some Alana Central people representing us. So. Yeah, it's just a fun environment getting oh, yeah. to state on in any sport at any level. You yeah. know, that's that's a big accomplishment, and it's not a big number, but any number is better than yeah, nothing. For so. sure. Yeah, and, that's good. Five five different oh, yeah. kids, so that's, that's good. And then they can, I'm sure, most of them are back, so they can go on in next yeah, year and then exactly. go on into high school and hopefully do the same thing. Right. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I, th I think we got some people that can do pretty well. So, so thank you for joining me today yeah. again to discuss another week. And make sure to look out in future weeks right here on the Alliance Sports Network.